and welcome to another InstaForex daily market analysis. For today, I decided to cover Euro dollar. We'll speak about Bitcoin, dollar index, gold market, crude oil, and NASDAQ 100. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. What we can see here is that market had an up day yesterday and that um, Euro is trading around a key potential resistance at this point. We can see the previous swing low area is around 1.0725730 mark. We have a declining 20 moving average around 1.2730. And uh, we can see that on the weekly time frame, uh, there is a still chance for the lower price and potential retest of 1.05525 and this area around 1.0450 mark. So what we have here, we had some rally yesterday, but still the downside environment is present and the short term trend is to the downside. In case of the Let's say downside move. If you take a look at the hourly time frame, if you can if you can trade lower and trade below 1.06 and hold below, there will be a chance for a further downside continuation from that point, and potential you can see the downside continuation on the daily time frame. So this seems like a just a regular normal average pullback, like something we had here before this downside move. Now we have something like like this. So pretty much looks like a natural pullback and potential for the downside continuation. On the Bitcoin, we can see market is um, market had an inside day yesterday on the daily time frame, inside candle, and this is a sign of uh, indecision. And we have a resistance at sixty-seven thousand two thirty, and the support, I will say, is around this um, pivot level around sixty-five thousand four hundred mark. So from this point. Mark is trading in the middle of this bigger box or bigger consolidation and uh, we need to be patient and wait for a directional move and a directional breakout. So in the weekly time frame you can see in the last couple of weeks, last five to six weeks we have a consolidation and we're in the middle of this consolidation. So we'll need to see the stronger movement either to the downside break or the upside break to retest the highs but so far just consolidation. On dollar index we, we have a pullback, yesterday we had a down day. But we can see that market is in a short-term upside environment and um, we have support for let's say previous swing high and a 20 bar moving average at 105.35 so let's put a line there that is a potential support for the dollar index and then we have a 105.0706 mark so this is the area uh, which can be a very strong support in a daily time frame on the hourly time frame, market is just um, around a 20 declining moving average. So I would like to see some kind of there is also potential resistance around 105.85, 105.90. So if market can trade into this area, hold above, and so that would be a good potential sign for the upside continuation on the daily time frame. Let's take a look at the gold market. The gold market, so we can see that market held around a 20 bar moving average. Market had more like a pin bar. But the hourly time frame seems like it's trading below the 50 declining moving average and uh, this can still be a corrective move based on this downside movement. So there is still potential for the downside continuation on the goal, especially the market can retake 2292. Uh, this can be a sign for the bigger drop, maybe even towards the 2220 or 2185. Now watching crude oil, it's basically a consolidation around the weeklies on the pullback. You can see the weekly time frame we have a pullback on the weekly but on the daily we have a pretty much noise around and we have a this big pin bar from a couple of days ago the market held around 81.25 but still for the upside continuation I would like to see a bigger breakout I will break out of the 86.26 or so in order to confirm that upside continuation the weekly time frame because this that's not the case there is a still chance for the downside movement and potential move towards the 7775 and we have a Nasdaq 100 so we can see the market is we're experiencing a pullback so far uh, we have market had a one two days in a row from low to high and so far this is the third one third day that we have a, overnight the market is made a higher high but still we had a down break in the background of this bigger distribution it took like two months to develop so still from my view this can just be a 
cons uh, just a correction uh, and potential for the downside continuation will be is, is there from my perspective and I see the bigger drop on the short midterm perspective even towards the 16,300 mark or even 16,000 mark so this can be a, just a temporal correction market it's pretty normal after the downside move for five six days for the market to, to rally for a couple of days or so day or two and then have a downside continuation so pay attention I will say the confirmation on this one if the market can can trade uh, below the 17,400 and then hold below this will be a good uh, continuation and a good confirmation for the potential downside continuation That'll be all for this uh, InstaForex daily market analysis. Have a good uh, trading day and speak to you soon.